I mean, yeah. So basically, this card is an NFT card. So there's only going to be one of it, and uh, we are going to provide proof on the chain, uh, on the Stellar blockchain, that uh, there will be one of it. The, the issuer account is going to be issuing that card and being locked and frozen forever. So there's only going to be that card for that player and after he is free to do whatever he wants with it he can sell it on the decks he can uh, he can trade it he can he can send it to another account uh, we 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 can't control that he is absolutely free to do whatever he wants with this okay. and then here uh, right so on the uh, right side here you can see the lightmeet wallet and uh, sam has the transaction that just needs to be submitted to the network in order to create that nft uh, live and uh, submit it to the to the stellar wallet that you can see here uh, that's here that's this card this wallet is going to receive the nft nice. uh, on the network man this is so awesome so for you can't see it but right now i'm in the laboratory the stellar laboratory and i'm about to go ahead and input uh, a base code uh, from the transaction envelope and send it over. So three, two, one, congratulations. I'm submitting it to the network. Here we go. And let's see how long it takes. It should be fast. There you go. It's signature. And it's, it's there already. And it's there. It just landed in the in the wallet. So you see, that's also the power of Stellar. It's really like it's two to five seconds for uh, any transaction. And you can see here that the wallet has this NFT card uh, ready to play. Because another thing is that uh, you can play the game straight from the Lightmeet wallet. And we can actually do a quick demo here uh, from your account. So you can just start yeah, the no, game. No. Uh, when you play the game, you unlock cards. And for example, here, there's uh, some cards that have been un unlocked. And this is a card that you have on the wallet. And you can now play it in the, in the game. And if you send it to a friend, then he can use it in the game as well. What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. Boy, y'all looking good out there. I'm seeing everybody. Shout out to Ferg. What's up, man? Stella Island, man. I appreciate you always tagging in. Um, man, we have a pretty good show. I got to take a little sneak peek. And uh, that boy Fred, man, he keeps working. You know, he keeps working, man. He, everybody's like, yo, you get him on the show so often because he keeps doing stuff. He keeps improving. He keeps added to the ecosystem. So I, I, I've got to show love for that. Uh, real quick before we jump in, want to let you guys know that coming up uh, later on this week, I've got Task. Um, they're doing some really great things. Uh, Steve Walker, Matt Rickard, um, they are, uh, they got a project that use utilizing Stellar to help with social, uh, movements. Uh, they've got a great, uh, project going on over in, uh, Cambodia. And so we get to learn how they're utilizing Stellar big things going on with them. And then later on this month as well, uh, 420, <laughs> sorry, I, <laughs> I, I didn't do that on purpose. I promise. But 420, uh, we got Eric with uh badali and uh i'm telling you you guys have heard about this uh badali is the one that is actually um working they they helped to actually launch uh jointly launch a canadian stable coin um not too long ago um so they got that going on in addition um you might have heard about this as well they're working in uh bermuda and um they've got uh rum sales uh with a a, a digital dollar um, out there, a digital uh, Bermuda dollar, and they tokenized with one of the oldest, uh, oldest uh, dispensaries out there in uh, Bermuda. You might have heard of, of this brand before. Uh, so it's pretty exciting what they're doing. Uh, it's always great, man. This is a real thing. Stellar is not a, a concept. It's not a concept car. It's it's the real deal. So uh, we are here because I have got. Uh, I have got, let me go ahead and take off Badali, but I've got uh, Light Mints uh, that is here. Fred, uh, how you doing, my man? How are you? Hi, I'm glad to be back. Thank you, Sam, for uh, doing this. Man, a shout out uh, from Chile, man. Yo, shout out to, to FedEx, man. Thanks for checking in, uh, checking in um, as well. Uh, Alo, I appreciate everybody. Shout out to also Emir. Man, look at Amir out there, man, doing his thing. If you haven't met Amir, he's out there on Stellar Global. So, uh, man, uh, Fred, I, I really, really uh, am excited. I, I, I showed a little clip uh, in the beginning just uh, about a month ago. Um, yeah. You had showed how the NFTs were being used in the Lightman gaming system. 
And uh, now we're here to talk about an actual marketplace. Because at the time, I remember you telling me that it, it quite wasn't set up just yet. So how, how has that journey been just, you know, building everything out? Yeah, it's, it's not been uh, easy. The, the marketplace is quite a big project. Uh, and, uh, you know, like we, we're trying to make things work uh, and sometimes we hit some uh, some problems but uh yeah finally we we got there and then uh, the marketplace is ready to be released uh, this week so uh, that's very exciting it is it is it is so you know the stellar family has grown uh a lot since we've last talked i mean it's starting to get mainstream in many ways um why don't you give a quick background on on who you are to the public yeah, so uh, I'm uh, uh, Frédéric uh, Rezeau, the CEO of Lightmeet. I'm also the owner of Stellarport. Uh, and, uh, you know, Lightmeet is a company I created uh, two years ago. Um, and and the, it started with a, a gaming platform, you know, uh, connecting gamers to, to the crypto world. And uh, we also have um, a uh, open source uh, Stellar wallet. And connecting the dots now, we are about to release the NFT marketplace. Awesome, awesome. Shout out to Stellar Austria. Ovis, what's going on, my man? So, um, kind of let's starting from the very beginning. I want all the everybody listening to really have a good educational background. How would you describe what an NFT is? Let's start from that. Yeah, I mean, uh, so by strict definition, an NFT is a is a unique token, and uh, by this way, they are not interchangeable, right? But um, I would say that the way people uh, use NFTs uh, as a word to, today is to describe uh, a wider class of um, non-fractionable assets, right? And uh, I think, uh, so they are not necessarily unique. And uh, so to me, it makes sense because at the end, uh, this wider definition uh, is uh, a better fit for what NFTs are trying to do, you know, uh, in the digital goods industry. And uh, so essentially, NFT provide a proof of ownership um, of dig for digital content. And uh, it's a powerful tool, you know, to address uh, the needs of that uh, uh, digital good industry with distribution and licensing in a decentralized uh, world. So, uh, so these assets can really help, you know, these intermediate businesses in the gaming uh, music and art and publishing industry so so that's what nfts are awesome 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 and shout out to walter my man walter thanks for checking in tough general thank you for checking in uh bmw man yeah yeah i, I want to get one of those one day glad to see the stellar ecosystem growing man great things to come absolutely once again it's not a concept man that that's that's a really a great um a great yeah. summary thank you by the way uh fred um so all right when you talk about the NFT and, and you look at, you, you mentioned a bunch of different industries. Do you have any dollar amount about how big this NFT market is? Cause I, I'm seeing, you know, crazy numbers being thrown around for NFTs. Do you have any idea uh, on that at all? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think there's a very, like it depends how you define uh, the NFT market, but uh, I've read some uh, studies. They said basically that it's a market that has grown uh, 300% uh, over the uh, 2020, I think it was so three times. And, uh, and uh, so it was, I think, to $250 million. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's what we need to realize is that the entire digital good uh, market itself is, is embracing this industry. And that right. means basically we are talking about hundreds of billions of dollars in, in, a, in a, a total uh, addressable market size. And, and what's cool, man, and shout out to TFA. I know that they, they've been talking about uh, NFTs as well. Uh, so now you got a marketplace to come join in. Um, but what I, what I found really exciting about the NFT marketplace is that uh, it's almost having an easier adoption rate than cryptocurrencies. You're seeing individuals, I see like, you know, NBA top shots and, you know, all sorts of collectors that really could care less about Bitcoin or or any of these, but they are quickly adopting and getting involved with NFTs. And so, um, you know, one of the hurdles, and I guess we can, we, you know, we can talk about a little bit more, ha has been, you know, the transferring, you know, from, you know, other ways of, of, of purchasing these. Um, and so before we get into that, going back to kind of what we're saying right here is that the NFT market is huge. And so, you know, they are award-winning artists, professional teams that are all launching NFTs 
on the stel- on the um, Ethereum network. And so, yeah. you know, I guess we have to acknowledge that they're, they're doing something right. So uh, what would you say that Ethereum has gotten right when it you know, comes to the whole NFT marketplace? I, yeah, the, they, they are definitely the pioneer, uh, pioneer uh, in this technology. You know, they, they are bringing uh, a lot of innovations, um, you know, in this domain with ERC-721, ERC-1155, and also uh, also in terms of copyright with the NFT license. It comes from uh, from this world, right, uh, Dapper Labs. Wow. So, you know, they are, they are definitely at the forefront. Uh, but, you know, I would wonder how ethereum and that's what you were pointing out uh, can embrace the uh, mainstream because nfts have a, have a greater appeal than cryptocurrencies for mainstream uh, but right. how can you uh, embrace this world with with such prohibitive fees that's that's the question i would say that ethereum needs to solve right 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 absolutely so um so you, you kind of touched in you know some of the hurdles as far as you know the the hurdles as far as embracing the mainstream so can you go a little bit deeper into that as far as what do you mean by that? What what has Ethereum gotten wrong in many ways? I mean, to to me, is definitely the reason, and, and that's the reason why I choose uh, Stellar, is the, the fact that the, the fees are far too high on Ethereum. And I could see that back in 2018 uh, with the, the so uh, that's uh, when the, the CryptoKitties project was Crypto uh, Kitties, very uh, hyped. Right. And uh, and then at that time it was already uh, quite. I think there was uh, trades like you, you needed to pay six dollars, and we and I thought at that time that it was too high because right. uh, coming from the digital goods sectors, you know, we publish games, for example, on the app stores, and what we want is a technology that can um, decentralize this uh, from that can disengage from those uh, those places, and we trade a lot of items that are sub dollar or even one two dollars. So if you have to pay fees, even six dollars is, is too expensive. And just today, I will show you a screenshot. Uh, uh, af- just after I tried to set up my account on OpenSea to to uh, to sell uh, uh, one of the tokens that I will match uh, on on the Lightning Marketplace, and it would be it was over hundred dollars just to set up the the, the trade. Sham in fees, in fees, not, not even. Uh, Sham Sudin, shout out to you. Shout out to you as well, man. Thanks for joining. Yeah, the, the fees are ridiculous, man. I, 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 tried to, uh, I tried to play around myself. I wanted to buy something for $50. It was going to cost me $50 to <laughs> make the transaction happen. Exactly. You exactly, know, yeah. it, it, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Shout out to Abu, man. Thanks for checking in. Um, so... You decided to build on Stellar. So what were some of the advantages that Stellar as a network had over has over Ethereum? We, we know definitely about the cheaper fees. Yeah, I mean, definitely cheaper fees. Also, the transaction speed, uh, you know, the confirmation time on the ledger is very interesting because it really matches what we see in the in-app purchase world or on, on marketplaces like uh, the Google Play Store, the App Store and, and, and things like that. So it's very convenient, very realistic. Uh, and also, and I think that's the most important tool, and that's what you're going to see in action uh, uh, with the demo, uh, the Stellar decentralized exchange, readily available, and tools like Path Payments that allows us to uh, do uh, amazing things basically on the network. Wow, wow, wow. And, and, and you know, the, I mean, we talk about not only the, about the high fees, right? But I think another advantage to, you know, doing something on Stellar is the guaranteed fee. And what I mean by that is that I'm not guessing what I'm going to be charged when I make a when I make a purchase, right? It's it's a stable cool. yeah. stable fee that's there and locked in, and I, and I think that that makes a, a huge huge difference. Um, this person just said I lost six dollars in OpenSea. Yeah, I I I can imagine. I can imagine. Shout out to KT House. So going back over into the 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 Lightman store. Um, Here's here's one concern that I had, right? When you told me about this, is that there's such there's just so many artists, there's so many artists that are already on Ethereum, and they may be hesitant in you know completely, you know, dropping what they're doing and transferring over. So I was curious. I mean, is it is it possible for if you have an art or a piece of art on the Ethereum, let's say like OpenSea, that uh. Uh, uh, Adib just lost six dollars on. Could could they try? Um, could they try out you know your store? And I say that because let's say I have an an item that I'm I, I want to sell for twenty dollars, 
Oh man, look at this. Lost 20 bucks. I just said, uh, yeah, it, I, you know, let's say I have something that's for 20 bucks and I want to sell it. It's too expensive now to even try to, you know, because of the gas fees to put it on uh, OpenSea. So is, is there a way to merge or bring over items from, let's say, Ethereum and test it out on, on the Lightman store on Stellar? Yeah, I mean, the, at the end, this is what Stellar is. That's one of the strongest uh, point uh, for Stellar use case is the ability to anchor assets to the network, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, any any asset that you have and NFTs are just uh, very regular assets the same way, uh, just that we limit the supply of, uh, of those assets, then they can be anchored to the Stellar network. And uh, I actually uh tokenize two items uh that so I, I will show how we can uh alleviate the fees for example on the stellar network by uh on the on the ethereum network by trading or starting an auction on the lightning marketplace without those awesome. fees so I, I i will show that live all right man well look this is the moment that everyone's been waiting for is the official unveiling of the lightning nft market uh on stellar here we go. All right, let's go. Ooh, looks nice. Looks nice. Looks nice. So this is it. This is the Light Mint Marketplace. I love the logo. And let me know if you guys are watching, what do you think about this site? Oh, it looks clean to me, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let me ask you. I mean, uh, everything that you put out, man, is always clean. Um, how did you come up with this concept? Because this, I love it, man. I, I, I love it a lot. How did you come up with it? Uh, thank you. But, uh, you know, I think uh, thanks to my wife first, because uh, <laughs> the original design of the marketplace was definitely not looking like this. And, uh, you know, she, uh, she was not very impressed. So uh, she, we went through a lot. <laughs> We went through a lot of iterations and 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 it ended up like this uh, so a lot more functional than uh than the original uh, iteration uh, uh, maybe i can bring you a screenshot at some point but now yeah, you know yeah, there's yeah. Uh, for example items look at that man look uh, at that look at that th there's a lot lot of information available without even clicking you know like for example you know that this account is not locked uh, you know the supply of uh, items you can immediately see the bids and the offers on, on on items so a lot of functionality the search as well uh that that is very powerful and then a lot of shortcuts as well so man yeah, look at this she, man she like, helped hey, a lot. Hey, hey hey shout out to your wife i see her on twitter hey i'm i'm happy that she follows me so i i'm, I'm glad i got her as a fan at least man i'm happy to hear that but hey look, she's man, a fan too Oh man, that's awesome! It's awesome. Hey, we gotta get that trip going to Korea as soon as we can. But yeah. man, the, the 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 responses are pretty much overwhelming. Wow, nice colors, I love it. Uh, Emir, shout out to Emir again. We got Thank uh, you. wholesome, wholesome and awesome. Uh, I love it. it. Looks great. Love the purple. Yeah, me too. Uh, looking Whoa. good. Uh, oh, thanks for looks the love. amazing. Yeah, it, it's it, it's great. So um, let's let's look around. So um, look at that sharp and clean. Absolutely. Um, so let me ask you this. I want to go ahead and, and give everybody a tour, give myself a tour as well of, of your yeah. store. Um, the first thing that kind of, you know, after I look at the screen and, and I kind of let that sink in, um, I'm looking at the top middle and it says market XLM. I think I know what that means, but can you, you know, can you show that? I don't want to put you on the spot, but can you kind of show me live, I guess, and show us ah, okay. what exactly that means there? Yeah, I mean, what you see at the top is essentially the power of PATH payments on the Stellar Decentralized Exchange, you know, the SDEX. You know, uh, so PATH payments can be used not only to send and convert money uh, you know, on the SDEX, we can use them to implement uh, discovery for bids and offers and uh, we can do this across any pairs. And uh, I, I will show you what I mean. Basically, at the moment, we have uh, XLM uh, selected. So every price uh, that you can see, for example, this, uh, this one we know that is selling for 441 XLM, but it's not necessarily the currency that the, the seller uh, is willing to receive. It's just a conversion through the SDEX. So uh, nothing is centralized. We pull the price directly from the SDEX. And uh, 
here, for example, we can switch markets. So for example, we can switch to USDC. And again, we go through the SDX, we pull all the prices, we discover the bids, and we convert them to display them to the user. So, well, actually, that was probably USDC that uh, this uh, item is listed against because the, the number is round. So that's 250 uh, USDC that, uh, and, and it's automatically converted uh, through the SDX. But what okay. the power okay. is. So, and, so, so you, got, so you got XLM, you got USDC, um okay 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 go ahead what up what, what you gonna say man I'm, I'm, yeah I'm i mean to, what, what to, i wanted to, to trying to keep this all in what, what i wanted to show is basically that uh, uh the power of path payments behind that like for example one, one of the biggest issue that nfts have when you have so many markets is that what if i want to sell uh my art or my NFT, uh, and uh, I want to receive a currency that no one knows about, like, or not a very right. much used currency, like, for example, credit. Then, like, I will take an example. Um, right. So this is, I will go to my account. Okay. And uh, there's, so there's this item. It's hey, actually a Microsoft. Look at Sam, it's Sam Connor. <laughs> hey, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> we, will, we will start an auction after on that. Nice. All right. Okay. A little preview there. Oh, you got me with that one. All right. All right yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. So this one is a is a Microsoft Azure uh, token, an NFT that actually is on uh, the OpenSea marketplace. Uh, it's in my wallet, um, and I, I tokenized it to to Stellar. So basically, you you can now trade it on Stellar. You can start an auction if you want. But what if, for example, Wait, time someone out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. You you glossed over that one real quick. So you put a NFT on, you put an NFT on OpenSea, Ethereum, uh, right? Well, I mean, yeah, that's not my NFT. Wow. I bought it. So that's okay, one of the, I don't it. know if you heard, uh, Microsoft teamed up with Engine uh, to, uh, to issue NFTs. And they are issuing those Microsoft Azure tokens uh, to, to, for, for achievements. It's kind of a metaverse kind of a uh, uh, item. And this item, basically what I've done, I've just tokenized it because let's just imagine I want to start an auction there on uh, OpenSea. Uh, right now, I have a screen actually from today. This is the price that this would cost me to set up my account. Wow. And, and we are not even talking about starting the auction and uh, transferring the item at the end. So now let's imagine that you have this item on Ethereum. What you can do with the Lightmeet mar Marketplace is to tokenize it very quickly. It takes five seconds and two XLM. And then you have this item after on um, on, a, on on the Lightmeet Marketplace. And let's just imagine that someone, for example, wants to buy this item. So I have a wallet there and I've prepared uh, the, a bid. <laughs> Let's imagine I want to buy this item for 10 credits. So no one knows the credit currency. It's not a widely used currency, right? So mm -hmm. it's very hard to find if, if uh, I am the, the, the owner of this item, it would be extremely hard to find uh, the buyer, uh, the, the one who bids and wants to, to buy my item. But right now, the marketplace has discovered that bid and is showing it in the currency that I've selected here. Wow. So there's... So that's what Path Payments can achieve is that it can uh, make uh, bring together buyers and sellers and uh, completely seamlessly. So the buyer uh, is looking for buying from his credit uh, uh, pocket and the, as a seller, and, I can sell it and, and get USDC. And, 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 the, credit, and, and, and the credit, that, that's, that's somebody that's, that's using their credits as a gamer by using Lightmint. Correct. Exactly. Like, yeah. Right, so that's right. the so, cre credit is the in-game currency. Uh, so gamers, uh, and we have a lot. We have two thousand nine hundred <laughs> gamers nice. ready to to come into the marketplace and and spend their credits there. And oh, let me ask you a question. So shout out to Zach, my man Zach, Stella Zach. Um, he asked a question. He says, so basically, you're proving you, you have to obviously prove ownership, you know, of your um, you know, prove ownership of your your NFT. Let's say on OpenSea to be able to put it on the store and bridge it. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so, yeah, yeah, at the end, you, you, will, you have to prove it's actually part of the, uh, the NFT license. So, for example, the NFT license is uh, specifying that you can publish your item on other marketplaces. And I guess that includes uh, a marketplace like uh, Lightmeet. However, the marketplace must ensure that when a user does that, he has proven ownership of the item. 
So that's the nice. NFT license that proves that. And and yeah, we we you you have to prove ownership. You have to prove that you have custody on the asset. And uh, so so there's many ways to do this. Uh, but and what I, I would say the the most common use case that I could see for that is more. If I am an artist on um, on uh, on Ethereum, then I can move to Stellar and issue my item there, uh, link them to my own domain name, and then this this way ownership is is de facto proven. Wow! 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 Uh, and so, just a follow up because I think it's a good question too. So, wondering if when you sell the Stellar version of if the Ethereum ownership also transfers. It will it will more work like uh, like for um, uh, how is it called uh, like an anchor. So for example, okay. uh, let's just say I buy some Ethereum from Stellarport IO uh, from someone else who had Ethereum from Stellarport IO. Then at some point I can redeem the token, and that's exactly the way it works for uh, for Stellar basically. So that's why the trust in the anchor is very important, and that's why um, it is the the most common use case that I can see there is the artist himself. That moves to Stellar in order to benefit from cheaper price and and a better uh, better market. Nice, nice, nice. Shout out to King James, man. Appreciate you tagging in today, man. I appreciate it. I really do, really do. Um, so, man, this is this is this is pretty big. So, going back to the the different markets. So, um, how many options do we have as far as the like? Yeah, I see. I saw USDC. I saw credit. Um, what other options do we have besides, yeah, I mean, there's besides a, that? There's a, so that's the default markets we're going to lease. We may have, uh, we may add additional markets. However, uh, let's just say, for example, let's try uh, mm -hmm. uh, to change, to swap to credit. As you can see here, I don't know if you see the link. Yeah. Uh, so there's a link here. You can deep link any market into the marketplace. It doesn't matter. Uh, we accept any market. So for example, right now it's credit. And uh, let's go on Stellar Port uh, so I can pick up some. Um, wait, wait, wait. You could deep link any market you want? Any, any, any market into the marketplace. So just uh, <laughs> uh, let's let's pick up. Why not Apple uh, from uh, this stock? Wait, wait, wait. wait. So, All right. So, y'all, what he's doing right now, he's saying that you could add any freaking oh, market to the Lightman store. And he is about to pull. Apple stock from D from the D stock uh, and input it into his store. So you can use literally any asset that you own to purchase an NFT on Stellar. If you show me this, I'm going to bug out. <laughs> so it works, but yeah, it could work. Basically, the, the marketplace will reload. Uh, now it's Apple stock <laughs> here from D stock. <laughs> And all prices are automatically uh, pulled. I'm done. So you, if you, I'm done. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Crypto James. Yo, that that's some next level stuff right there. That is wild. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think y'all understand. What this man? Hold on one second. <laughs> I don't think you guys understood what he just did. This guy. So it, <laughs> so it means, you for just, example, let's just say go ahead, you go you ahead. own some Apple, you own some Apple shares there. Then right. now you can just buy anything with this, or you can sell if you are the seller. Listen, you can't do this anywhere else, guys. Stop playing with Stellar, all right? Stop playing with these other other blockchains and stop disrespecting what Stellar is doing. <laughs> stop disrespecting what Stellar... If y'all don't put some respect on Stellar Network, what these guys are doing, what all these developers are doing, what the SDF has done, I don't know what the... Listen, I don't want to hear it anymore. Never thought you could use Apple stock to buy anything. Do you understand? I'm sorry. Uh, let me stop. I mean, before yeah, I it, it, it works. This is it works with any any currency on Stellar. Basically, uh, you you will be able to deep link and, and and have and load any currency and have the price converted because we use the SDX. There's nothing centralized. Yes. Period. End the discussion. Let's stop the debates right now. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. 
Fred, you just you just really just bugged me out. I'm going to calm down. I apologize. I'm going I'm to calm down. Great. Yeah, really great job. Amazing. Thanks. Yeah, it's, Thank it's, you. it's insane. So um, after you blew my mind, let's let's go ahead and show us around the store, sir. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, basically the store has, uh, so you will, um, in terms of the, the listing, you know, it's very easy to issue any asset on Stellar. So we are going to provide curation. Uh, however, any asset the same way can be deep linked into the store, even without our approval. So for example, let's say um, you issue a new item. We don't have an approval for you. You can create a link that will load the item into the marketplace, even if we don't give you an approval. The only difference is that, for example, if you look for the item, it won't be listed. So for example, let's say uh, you do some search and you, you won't be able to, to see this item in searches and, and in, in other places. In the field. They, these are the que Stellar Quest uh, tokens. I've imported a few into the marketplace. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Neat, neat, neat. Now I'm seeing some really cool art on that homepage. Um, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Tell us about this artist because I, I might want to put a bid on something. It looks really nice. Yeah. I mean, she's from uh, Russia and uh, she's uh, basically trying yeah, to, to, to sell her arts with this new, uh, uh, new ways. And then, uh, yeah, she's, uh, I'm very happy because she, she's very, uh, very talented. Absolutely. 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 So, yeah, so keep going, man. What what else what else do you do you have there? I see you got different categories and Yeah, I mean you can you will be able to you have uh, all the power, you'll be able to search for uh, for unique items, uh to search also from um from the tags on this uh, on the items. So for example, let's see uh you click on that item. So that's also an Ethereum uh token that I have on my wallet. Um So it's, it's this one and nice. uh, it's uh, so for example, there's a few tag, if you tag art, then you can do searches like this. So it's very like a uh, very standard marketplace uh, features there. Uh, but yes, you can you can definitely do this. And on top of that, there is the auction. Uh, so I think we, we should uh, I will show you. Yeah, uh, on yeah, one yeah. that's pretty cool, man. Those, those are some really nice art pieces. I got to admit, man, those are really neat. And so um, a question I know that um, uh, my man uh, Amir asked earlier is, can you just uh, can you connect your, your freighter or Albedo wallet into into Lightmint? Yeah, exactly. That's uh, so in terms of wallet, we support uh, freighter, ledger, treasure, Ooh, but also so any right from, heart, right from your hard wallet. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry, say that again, also, any SEP7? Yeah, I mean, SEP7 link also because you, you get the XDR, so you can you can uh, run through through the XDR directly. Actually, I've got a screenshot wow. because <laughs> when I use when I use Freighter, it doesn't show uh, from the on the screen, on your screen. I think, right. uh, I don't know if it's a security measure, but here is a screenshot. So that's when, when you try to make a payment, when start an auction, that's what you will see. It will describe the transaction. And then you will be able to start uh, so uh, freighter freighter integration uh, directly. And I will actually start an auction now, just to show wow. you. Uh, so I added the option to start a two-minute auction because I, I will explain uh, very quickly uh, how the the auction contract uh, works. Uh, so for example, uh, let's change the market to back to XLM. So if you're the owner of that item, then you got the, the ability to start an auction, you can start two minutes, uh, and then you can specify your reserve price and click like this to connect. Uh, so on my screen, you can see uh, there is a freighter at the moment. I okay. am just uh, acknowledging the transaction. Right, and the auction will start and deliver uh, the contract. So now, yeah, it's about uh, two minutes uh, like this. And you can see here, uh, that's the contract on Stellar. And essentially it's a wow. pre out transaction with a time bound. So what happens is basically if you, anyone in the world uh, can take this, go on the Stellar laboratory uh, and then <laughs> try to submit the transaction. But if you submit now, it will say too early because the time there's a time bound, which is basically you can't do it before the two minutes have, have elapsed. 
right? Wow. And uh, after the two minutes, however, anyone can submit that transaction and any bidder on this auction, uh, along with the seller, will be settled by uh, through. So we can actually uh, go through important points there. Uh, view XDR. So I will show you. There's a important point is the time bound here that limits the, the time at which you want to, you can uh, submit the transaction. There's a bunch of setup here to, to make sure that everyone gets the, the assets that they need. And at the end of the auction, there's a path payment strict send that is executed. And that's what will settle uh, the deal for every participant, basically. Uh, wow. Basically sell at the best price with the reserve, uh, the reserve price. So one little thing is that at the moment with this system, we can't hide the reserve price. So the, okay. it, it's, it's going to be public because anyone can check the contract like, like this. But I guess with TSS, with uh, uh, Turing uh, signing servers, with additional features, maybe coming with the network, we'll be able to, to add additional features as well. But right now, that's nice. how it works. So here the auction has uh, completed. And that means now I can, uh, I mean, the server, like mid server will do it automatically, but uh, anyone in the world can do it decentralized. And if I try to submit the transaction, it will fail again. But now, for another reason, it's because there was no bid during that option. So as you can see, right. all the transactions, all the operations are successful. On the, the last one fails because there's no offer, and therefore no one has been served. You did not lose your item, and no one has get uh, has got has lost any money. Nice, nice, nice. This is this is amazing stuff, man. Great work, great work, great work. This is pretty cool. So. You, you, I, I have to go back, man. You, you kind of, you kind of caught me off guard. I see you got, you got uh, Sam Connor uh, NFT up there. Yes, right. <laughs> so, what else you got there, man? So it was supposed to be a surprise, but <laughs> <laughs> you, you saw it from my account. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, I've tokenized. Uh, so that we talked about uh, the other day. Uh, it's the first tweet from Stellar wow. Global. And wow. uh, well, we can, we can start a, Stellar Global. Nice. We can start an auction on it. And uh, this one, uh, it was uh, yeah, a surprise. I just uh, wanted to tokenize Sam Connor on uh, StellarGlobal.io. <laughs> so we nice. have a token for Sam Connor. I'm tokenized. Yes. <laughs> awesome. 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 That's pretty cool, man. I appreciate, I appreciate finally being tokenized on the Stellar blockchain. It is an honor. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so, so someone asked right here, how does the how does the NFT transfer from Ethereum blockchain to the Stellar network? I think you talked about it earlier, but if you want to just quickly review that one one quick time for him. Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, no, it's it's basically the same way as uh, any encore asset works on Stellar. So you have to uh, operate uh, an encore on the Stellar network, and you will have deposit and withdrawal, you know, on and off ramping. So basically, that's how it will work, uh, and that's why I think the use case, the most common use case for it, would be artists coming to Stellar, setting up their encore there, and then uh, issuing their their own assets from there. Awesome, 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 man. Well, look. I mean, we covered a lot, a lot of great, great, great things here. I mean, is there anything else to point out on the store? Did we, did we catch everything? Yes, there's one more point. And actually, I saw, uh, I saw some items from the quest um, that can help to illustrate this, this, this uh, thing. So basically, okay. on the SDEX, uh, on the SDEX, you have a limitation, which is that at the moment, if you sell one troop of an item, you are limited to selling at this price. So in XLM, what the whoever uh, is selling this, uh, uh, the price corresponds to the maximum amount of price that you can list an item for uh, on okay. DSDEX directly. So it's 214 of any currency. So 214 of BTC if you sell against BTC. But in terms of XLM, it's quite a low price. So that means it's quite limiting. And uh, the Lightmeet Marketplace doesn't have this kind of... Uh, of a uh, of uh, limitation because we okay. use uh, I, I wrote an article on uh, my blog about this uh, we use a system basically where you uh, hedge or you basically it's not just hedging it's actually uh, you you create a token to for a kind of a bearer token that you sell against so that you can specify absolutely any price you want uh, when you sell um, on the on this market and for example let's say i would like to sell this uh, sam connor token 
for a very high price. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it high, man. I got, I got kids, man. They gotta eat. <laughs> so even, even at this kind of price, if I make an offer, um, I've got the freighter screen right now. Freighter. Uh, so I'm signing the transaction, and basically it will allow this because uh, we use this kind of a buffering system against another uh, another asset. Nice, 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 nice. So, so yeah, there, there's no limitation uh, in terms of uh, pricing. So that's, uh, but that they are kind of like uh, technicalities. I think Stellar uh, is working on that. We had the discussion opened uh, on the Stellar Developer Group, uh, and basically is to provide a little bit more flexibilities for uh, non-fractional items. And uh, so I, I'm sure that there will be some uh, some some things there that will come from the Stellar protocol to re to remove this limitation. Well, it, it's awesome. And, and one great thing, uh, Fred, is that, you know, all the work uh, that you do in trying to build that Lightman is something that every other uh, developer, anybody that's trying to bring on an app to Stellar or use Stellar can all benefit from. It's the uh, the glory of an open source network. Uh, shout out to Dempster. He wants to know, enjoying the show, when is this going live? When is when is the NFT store going to be live? Right. So uh, at the moment, it's running on uh, my local uh, system. Uh, I'm going to put it live this week, uh, but I'm not sure yet if I am going to open it to everyone uh, or make a closed beta. It depends on, I'm, I'm doing additional stress testing on the system uh, just to make sure that fields don't fall apart and also that there's no security issues uh, in the, because we use quite, quite a new technologies, contracts and things like that. So just to make sure that everything is fine, but definitely there will be a public version this week, uh, closed beta or not. And uh, very soon in the, in the next few days, uh, everyone will be able to enjoy that and bid on Sam Connor. So we got a, we got a Sam Connor uh, uh, image, NFT, but then you also said that uh, you found the first time that I uh, announced or tweeted Stellar Global uh, on Twitter. Yes. So that's pretty cool. That That's pretty cool, man. I, uh, I appreciate that. Um, so that's that's neat. You got, a, you got a social category, it looks like. And uh, so this was the first time, what did I, what did I write? I don't even, I don't even remember. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, Stellar Global is getting rolling. We got our official team out in Korea. Oh, look at that. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. That's so, awesome. Yeah. So, so that's cool. So yeah, make sure you guys bid. Hopefully, uh, ho hopefully I do well. <laughs> um, oh, we didn't start the auction. Let's start. Uh, you want to start an auction on uh, on this yeah, one, for example? Go, yeah, let's go ahead and start the auction and have that one going. Uh, so when it goes live, we can make it happen. Well, what's your reserve uh, price? Oh, it doesn't even matter, man. <laughs> All right. You, there you go. Let's see. We'll have that thing going. <laughs> so it will, yeah, it will be live when, uh, so I guess, yeah, because it's going to take less than 10 days to go uh, pub, uh, to upload the website publicly. So yeah, it's, it's going to be live. That's awesome. We got a bid for 500 coming in for Ziga. I appreciate it. So, uh, you know, I, I, can't, yeah. I, I, I can't let you go without asking you. I mean, so... You know, a big thing with these NFT stores are having artists. So is there anything that uh, on the horizon uh, that we can expect of people, you know, utilizing your store? Any Anything you can maybe hint at? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I think mainstream is the, the main appeal for these kind of markets. And uh, we have, uh, but I'm, I'm not going to spoil it now, but we have uh, quite big deals uh, coming up and uh, likely an announcement, a PR uh, this week. Uh, but yeah, the, the goal is really to go big on the on mainstream. So we are going to uh, go with partners and 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 make uh, make sure that this happens. So expect some big things. Ooh. <laughs> As they say, big things are gone. Big things are yeah. gone, my man, Fred. You're a beast, man. You are a beast, man. Appreciate all the hard work. I enjoy it. Uh, looking forward to the official launch of the Light Mint store. NFTs are officially now coming to Stellar. Uh, you're actually going to also be a part of a roundtable discussion yourself, yeah. Steve from Task. Uh, when's the date of that? Do you know off the top it's, of uh, I think uh, Wednesday. So it's going to be uh, for me Wednesday night, but it's probably the afternoon uh, for you. All right, all right, all right. So once again, I appreciate everybody, man. Uh, I just got a notification. I got an award. We had 
uh, way over a hundred comments, a couple hundred comments Whoa. today. Um, yeah, that's that's actually a record for a show. Um, we we killed some numbers as far as viewership, so I'm glad everybody's excited, and I appreciate everybody that's uh, been along on this journey. Uh, don't forget, Light Mint launching real soon. Um, it's gonna be great. We're out of here, yeah. guys. Fred, you hold on for a couple minutes. Everybody else, okay, sure. I love you. Have a great rest of your day.